welcome to my channel and my blind playthrough of Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance here in my quest to play all Kingdom Hearts games. Uh, so yeah, this one's going to be on the PS4 again and this will be the seventh game I'm playing. Uh, so I played Kingdom Hearts 1, uh, Rechain of Memories, and then it was 358 over two days, Kingdom Hearts 2, Birth by Sleep and Recoded previously. So yeah, I'm excited to see what this one's about. It looks centered around uh, Sora, Riku and Mickey, I guess, perhaps? From the image at least. But yeah, I've never played this one. I don't really know what it's about, so uh, excited to try it out. So let's just jump right into it. And again, I will be playing on uh, standard mode for these Let's Plays. So let's get going. Use vibration and use subtitles for sure. Let's get going and see see what this one is all about. So it's nice to be back on the PS4 after playing on the DS for the recoded. Hey, is this how you wanted it? Hey, it's Brig. Xehanort, you want to fill me in? I am. Hey, do you remember now or wait? Did you never lose your memory? That's not my name. I'm not Xehanort. What? what? So this is Terra Xehanort we're name seeing right now. Is Ansem. Ansem. So that's when he takes the name Ansem, I guess. Interesting. But how far could a raft take us? Who knows? If we have to, we'll think of something else. Wonder where and well that has to be after Dream Drop Drop Distance at least, but maybe before Kingdom Hearts 1, I guess then? Could be Riku, a storm's coming. I know. The waves are getting steep. Furl the sail. Right. Right, I'm stuck on the ocean alone, apparently. I'm fine. What's that? Right. Oh, he was right. Those wretched guppies are here. Well, it's about time we settled the score. Ursula, but how? Is this the test? Come on. Uh -huh. You can work it out later. All right. Sorry, dearies, but I won't fall for that trick. All right. So what's this? Combat basics. Mementos are optional tutorials and flashbacks. Access system, access them by selecting play now or view now. When the cues appear. Combat basics. Yeah, why not? Let's play it. It's not like I played six other games in this series before, but hey, um, why not? Might be something new in this one. Use L to move around. You can rotate the camera using R. Press R T to reset the R three to reset the camera. Try looking around. Is that enough? We are press cross to attack. Keep pressing cross after landing an attack. You will and you will perform a combo. Take out that tentacle. Yeah, yeah, ha, yeah, yeah. Ha. Right. The lower your HP gauge to the lower right is your HP gauge. It will deplete as you take damage. Run out of HP and it's game over. Protect yourself by pressing square to block. If you press L plus square while moving, you will dodge. You can also use circle to jump. Defend yourself from incoming attacks. Alright. Um, lock onto an enemy and the camera will stay pointed that way. While locked on, you can still you can switch targets by holding R1 and using left directional. Lock on to each of the tentacles. 
Well, I've done that now, haven't I? I should think at least. Locking on is a great way to keep track of foes in the heat of action. To exit lock on, press R1. The command deck allows you to perform more powerful attack and magic. Select the command from the deck with up and down. Once the command scosh is full, you can use it by pressing triangle. Use deck commands to take out all the tentacles. Right. No. Um, no. That was a miss on my part. See if we can hit it. No? Yeah, there we go. You never know where you'll find new commands. To install them in your command deck, wait until no enemies are around and press options to open the main menu. Not only can you modify your deck, but you can also change Keyblade, check your stats, and adjust game settings and more. And if you ever get stuck, you can access help and tutorials like this one by choosing mementos from the main menu. Combat basics tutorial complete. So yeah, that was really nothing new I suppose, but hey. It's uh, kind of similar to Birth by Sleep, command-wise at least, so that's you nice. Defeat Phantom me. Ursula. HP increase, so at least I got through it at le in the end. Wasn't uh, fighting large enemies is sometimes uh, challenging in this game, I must say. So the start of this game isn't really that logical to me. Don't know exactly when it's supposed to be played out. They both had the the keyblades already, so it should should be before Kingdom Hearts One. So we'll see. I guess it becomes it'll become clearer as I progress. I hope at least. Riku's Keyblade looks really cool, I must say, compared to Sora's. This world has been connected. Flashback, the most mark of master exam. Yeah, I'll watch this for sure. I mean, I have seen it in Birth by Sleep, I As guess. As a Keyblade master, Xehanort had a gift like few others. 
Or maybe I'm not sure. But actually. such great minds are often plagued by a single great question. What is the essence of the human heart that weakens us or empowers us? The answer, he believed, would be found in the Keyblade War. What if the challenges of our past were in fact a map to the light and darkness that battles within us all? Xehanort had to know, so he renounced his duties as master and chose the Seeker's life. Since then, in many a guise, he has clashed with protectors of the light. Keyblade wielders like yourselves. And mark my words, he will trouble us yet again. We must be ready. Which is why you, Sora and Riku, are to be tested for the mark of a true Keyblade master. This is definitely after Kingdom Hearts 2. No you fancy yourselves masters already, but it takes years of training. Only a true master can teach you the proper way. Both of you are self-taught Keyblade wielders, an impressive feat. However, the time has come for you to let go of preconceived notions, forget what you know about the Keyblade. And begin your training again with a clean slate. Huh? Yeah. But that's a formality, right? I already proved myself. Me and the king and Riku, we can take on anything. Right, Riku? I don't know. I think that in my heart, darkness still has a hold. Walking that path changed me. I'm not sure if I'm ready to wield a keyblade. Maybe I do need to be tested. Riku. Then count me in. Put me through the test. <laughs> Just watch. Me and Riku will pass with flying colors. Very well then. Sora and Riku, let your examination begin. Glossary Keyblades. A glossary entry that discusses Keyblades. Keyblade Master. Discusses Keyblade Masters. Master Xehanort. Alright. And I'm back in my King Hearts 1 gear. Princess Dive. What's this? Dive mode. In this minigame, you. Take down enemies and collect prizes as you fall at high speed. The objective is to pass through a goal, a, the goal ring that lights up once you meet certain goals. Attack once reach when the, your target is red. Press cross to attack enemies and objects when the target is yellow. Attack the rainbow colored weak point. To defeat bosses you will need to target their flashing weak points. Press circle to reduce speed, press square to quickly dodge. Magic prizes. If you pick up magic prize you can use it to, perfor to perform a special magic attack. Alright. 600... How... Uh, guess what, I'll just keep flying here. Am I... I must say. Or confusing is perhaps the wrong word, but it's kind of like gummy missions, but not really. Here we go. So that is the gold ring down there, at least. Diver. 
Fontaine Spark Dive. So this was an interesting minigame. So we start out in Traverse Town, it seems, with uh, some form of red get up here. Red black. So it's a new 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 clothes. Nice. Huh? This is Traverse Town. Traverse. Hey, what's with my clothes? Must be more of Master Yen Sid's magic. Right. Interesting to see what this game is all about. There we have Riku, maybe? Was it? Something was jumping from building to building, at least. I always call this Traverse Town, uh, but maybe it's Traverse. What happened to Riku? Riku! Hello! Riku! Shut it. Huh? <laughs> what about noise? Ah! <laughs> Who was that? Was that Riku or was it someone else? I guess it's someone else. Sora, right? Who's that? Yeah, but... Uh, how do you know that? Looks like you're not a player. A player? Come on, keep up. In the game. Players get marked with the time limit. In this game, I can't afford to lose. I need my game partner. Okay. I don't know about any game, but can I help? What? Time out. Do you trust every total stranger you meet? Look, usually. Sorry. You're no good. You're not a player. And my pack's with someone else. Okay, so we can't be partners. Why don't I just help you out as your friend? <laughs> now we're friends? It's not that easy. Not saying it is, but you could make it easier. Yeah, sounds great. Whatever. Cool! Lead the way! <laughs> Whoa. I am not sure what that game is from, or show, or whatever it is. Don't recognize that character. Flow Motion Basics. Uh, yeah, I think I want to watch that. For sure. Flow Motion lets you use the environment to the fullest. Use left directional and square to slide on into a wall or pole and enter and you will enter flow motion. While flow motion you can press a circle to jump or square to gain a burst of speed. This makes getting around much easier. Slide towards the lamppost and gain a burst of speed. Yeah. Alright. You don't always slide into flow motion, you can you can use objects like handrails and ropes just by jumping on and landing on them. Jump onto the rail and kick into flow flow motion. Okay. Uh, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Not sure where to go. Go with the flow. That is basically apparently flow motion. So it's gonna take some getting used to, I'd say. Uh, right. Let's see here. Is this locked at least? I'm used to playing the. I'm used to con the controls from Recoded here, so it's a little off right now for me. Right, so we all have Kingdom Key right now, that's logical. And nothing in stock. Got no abilities, it seems. Or a scan I had. So that's something. We got some new reports. Glossary, keyblades. A key shaped weapon forged by, by man during the Age of Fairy Tales. Another and any other origin have yet to be revealed. All Keyblades have one of three natures, light, darkness or heart. The last two are exceptional. Most documented Keyblades, including Sora's and Riku's, are Keyblades of Light. A key-shaped weapon forged by man during... 
Oh, right. Special key chains allow the keyblade's appearance to and performance to be altered. Right. So you go around when you... That's why I got confused. Guardians of the key... The guardians of the balance between light and darkness. Through the bequeathing, they choose the next generation of keyblade wielders, tra training their bodies and tempering their hearts so that they too might one day be keyblade masters. While the word master might be tossed around, only an ex existing Keyblade master can pass on the title and its associated power. They often elect to test candidates for the mark of, mark of mastery. Among the Keyblade master is one true successor who is tasked with protecting a hallowed ground known as the Land of Departure. Arguably the most powerful Keyblade master in history, and a staunch advocate for a world where light and darkness are equal. In his thirst for knowledge, he allowed his heart to succumb to darkness. While attempting to reproduce the Keyblade War, he was thwarted by uh, three young Keyblade wielders, and his body was seemingly, seemingly destroyed. However, Keyblade masters have the power to remove hearts and transfer them to other vessels. Master Xehanort has leveraged this power of recombination and clashed with Sora under a number of, of identities. Right. Dive mode. We got character files, we got Sora, Riku, robed figure, and Brig. And I saw Vexen and Sexy on there as well, or whatever they're, they're non... Uh, uh, nobody is called. Here we got some form of enemies. Dream Eaters, and we have treasures. 34 here in Traverse Town, that's a lot. Wonder if I can get all of them right now or not. Interesting. So that's same as in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 then, or similar, I guess. Alright, let's tr do some exploring now. Can I go through here? No, looks like I can't. Not yet, anyway. Can't enter there either. Can I do anything here? accessible it seems. Here we got a chest, lovely. Item commands. Item commands let you use items in your stock, however the only you can only use a limited number of, of e I each item per battle. This number is shown in your deck. If you are out of an item you cannot use it, even if you leave it installed in your deck. Right. So we got the Item commands there. Let's see. So how do I f adjust my deck then? Is my question. There's a save point as well. Got anything over here? Nothing as far as I can tell. Well, I guess I should use flow motion more. Yeah. Alright, um, can I go onto this roof here? No, oh. looks like I can't. Yeah, I can. Uh, this whole flow motion bit is still a bit confusing. How to actually work it properly. Glowing circles on the ground are save points. Touch the light to recover your HP. Save your game progress. Yeah. Same as usual. No, I was hoping to get to the other side of that. Okay. 
Might be just up there, I think. Here we are. No. No. Oh god, this is so... The controls for this are... I'm not friends with them yet, I can tell you that much. Um, so I'm trying to get to the other side of the roof there, just to see if there's anything interesting over there. But I'm having a little hard time controlling this flow motion, I must say. in this game are strange, I must say, so far. And they are also quite fast. You have to really... It's, uh, quick to be able to keep track of it, I think. Feels like at least. So there was a chest up there, at least. See if we can get to that one, maybe. Here. Awesome. Ice Dream Cone. Uh, well, this is not going too well right now. Can I actually aerial? Yeah, I can actually do that. Cool. Didn't expect to have that one already. Jump around here. No, I need that flow flow thing, but I have a hard time controlling it to do what I want it to do. Ah, it's so fast. Say that I can see anything up there though, so maybe that is not worth trying to do. Um, no, I'm not gonna watch that right now. Ice Dream Cone, a sweet treat that's spirit like, it sometimes boosts magic and changes. A spirit's deposition. Disposition. Um, right. Treasures. Two out of 34. So, yeah, this whole. What was this called? Flow something? Uh, it's gonna take a lot of getting used to, I think. Not a fan so far, but I'll guess I'll get there, hopefully. Alright, let's go to the second district. I think at least it should be the second district. Reality shift. Yes, I will play this. Use reality shift to bend the rules of the world around you. Reality shift works differently in each world. If this pink symbol appears over a target, it's time for for a reality shift. Press triangle and circle to trigger reality shift. Use, use L to lock on to the object you were targeting, then aim. Press cross to launch the, the target in the trajectory shown and blast any enemies it hits. Alright. Depending on your luck on target, you may need to meet different requirements in order to get the pink reality shift markers to appear. For most foes, this means dealing certain amount of continual damage. 
try reality shifts on everything. You need you never know what might happen. Reality shift tutorial complete. Right, I was gonna check one more thing. Just a balcony where I started out, see if there was anything up there that I missed. So let's see if I do like a no. Right, wrong button. Yeah. Why did I lose altitude there? That's my question. Um. Right, I must say that this is all quite confusing. Say that I saw anything up there, so I'm just gonna leave it for now and keep going in the second district here. The Swayland. Hey, I didn't catch your name. Dream Eaters. That's Dream a weird name. Eaters. Them. <laughs> right, I knew that. No, you didn't. That's a cute little cat. Don't let him surround us. Let's split up. Got it. Oh, uh, it's Neko. Huh? Neku. Neku Sakuraba. You asked. Neku Sakuraba. That's a mouthful. No, <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> Come on, Neku. Let's take him. <laughs> uh, flow motion combat. Uh, sure, I really need to see this, I guess. Slow motion isn't just for getting around, you can also use it in combat. Press cross while in flow motion to form a powerful flow motion attack. Your basic attacks your basic attack will change automatically when a flow motion attack is possible. Slide toward the walls and poles and use flow motion to defeat the enemies. Yeah. So long. Yeah. So long. Yeah. See, that was all of them. Sometimes sliding into enemies will trigger flow, flow motion. Use the directional and square to slide into a large enemy. You will start you will swing around that enemy. Cool. While swing around, press cross. As you can, and you can send the enemy flying. Take out the enemies by sending them flying. Right. Alright. Come on! Come on! There we are. Come on! Strength increased. Use flow motion to weave together a, a dynamic offense and you'll dominate the battlefield in no time. Flow motion tutorial complete. Right. These things with you. They're Dream Eaters too? Yeah. If I'm gonna survive the game, I'm gonna need some extra help. Think you could control them? Sure. I guess. No clue. Okay, flashback Dream Eaters. View now. 
If we are ever to strike down Xehanort, we need the individuals King Mickey spoke of in his letter. We must lead them out of sorrow and slumber and back to our world. To do so, seven sleeping keyholes must be found and unlocked, and a great power retrieved. As you know, every world is walled off from the next, preventing travel between them. In the past, you could bridge these gaps because the walls were broken, or because you could open special lanes with your keyblades. But your new goals, the sleeping keyholes, are harder to reach. You'll recall in your first journey that you brought many worlds back from the darkness, but some never returned completely. They still sleep cut off from all outside channels. Not even the Heartless can enter. But these sleeping worlds are said to have their own manner of darkness. They are called Dream Eaters. And there are two kinds. Nightmares, which devour happy dreams. And benevolent spirits, which consume the nightmares. The Dream Eaters will guide you. Just as the Heartless once guided you to the keyhole you seek at the heart of each world. It's another type of enemy, it seems. Glossary, Heartless. And Mega Wow recipe. <laughs> meow Wow, I mean, not Mega Wow. A list of materials needed to create Meow Wow. You will often receive dream pieces when you defeat nightmares, hostile dream eaters. You can use those dream pieces to create spirits, friendly dream eaters. Go ahead and get started by selecting spirits on the main menu. Create spirit using a recipe, create spirit use from scratch. Recipe and from scratch. To create spirits using a recipe, you'll need to collect the materials in advance. Starting from scratch may allow you to create spirits in unexpected ways. Once you've settled on what spirits you want to create, you can sacrifice a deck command to give your crea creation a stat boost. Your new spirit will is part of the family. Be sure to give it a meaningful name and lots of TLC. It's TLC. Now select the, the recipes of this, for the spirit you want to create. If you use more materials than the recipe requires, you can create a spirit with a higher level or rank than usual. You can also sacrifice one of your commands to give, it, to give the spirit a stat boost. Various types of bonuses are available. Why not choose a command now and power up your spirit? Ah. Uh... I guess. Okay, let's try this out. Why not? That a cute little cat. Level two. Give your new spirit a name. Yeah, meow wow should be fine. Uh... Meow wounds. Didn't catch that. I was just pressing cross as it, as it uh, popped up, so that's unfortunate. Say hello to your, your new spirit. Spirits will help you in combat. Give them lots of TLC to create a f your affinity and you will be duly rewarded. Use the hand icon to pet your spirits. This might cause spirits disposition, increase your affinity, or earn it some experience. Use training toys to play with spirit and you can help them grow. Fighting alongside spirit or bonding with them will earn them link point. Link points. 
help play or link points can be spent on the ability link board to unlock new commands and abilities for you. Pet your spirit and bond with it. Uh, is that with this one perhaps? If you get stuck, press L1 to bring up the help screen. Hand controls. Camera controls, right. So how long can I do this? I don't know, man. This entire thing seems a bit weird. Receive link points. Use them on the ability link board to earn commands and abilities. Open menu, then choose ability link. Hmm. On ability link board, you begin at the starting point and spend link points to advance one space at a time. Unlock spaces to earn new deck commands and abilities for Sora and Riku. Use some link points to unlock a new power. Why not? Link ability critical. Special abilities can be learned by activating by activate and activated which boosts your stats and unlock new moves. Abilities are obtained from spirits. Stat booting boosting abilities require that your that spirits you obtain from them stay in your party. Your basic attacks your if your basic attack and spirit attacks connect at the same time, both attacks will power up and send opponents flying. Performing this link critical will give you link gosh will give your link gosh a huge boost. Each spirit ability link board offers different rewards. Create spirits and nurture them to gain an edge in your adventures. When you're bonding with the spirit, press R1 to enter photo mode. The surrounding text will disappear and you will have a perfect opportunity for a screenshot. Creating Nurturing Spirits tutorial complete. Alright, that was interesting. You must install commands to use them in the main menu. In the main menu, choose Command Deck and Edit Deck. To easily, you can assign one shortcut command by highlighting it and pressing square to easily jump to this shortcut in command just press L1 um, they don't seem to have level in this one levels in this one have these it's the same kind of like setup as it was in uh, birth by sleep here so it's kind of interesting so I got a candy goggles a training toy that lets you teach your spirits to catch two types of candy at once beginning I must say. So we got attack bo item boost, attack boost, attack haste, magic haste. Magic boost, lots of stuff we get from the my friend there. Light screen. Resistance to light attacks. Poison block, fully protects against poison status, that's pretty good. Leaf bracer, ooh, lovely, I like this one. Um. Is there 
There's a lot to learn, I must say. Heartless. Living embodiment of darkness within our hearts, and therefore the darkness that has been in the world since its inception. Although they originate in our hearts, they have no hearts of their own, hence their name. They indistinct instinctively hunt for hearts and survive and reproduce by stealing them. They have no leaders or hierarchy, at least least of all chaotic purebloods, which arise spontaneously. Emblem Heartless, those created artificially by Sainort's Ansem, behave in much the same way. Okay, so that's interesting. So we've got some new flow motion here. Game records and got some new dream eaters. Meow, 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 wow. They're both nightmare and some kind of rare nightmare, also. Gamora Bat and Ko Kuma Panda. Uh, mementos. Not gonna check any of these. It's gonna get rid of these new text and. I don't like that when there's text, new text like this. It bothers me. So what if I... Cursor and press L1 or L1 or R1 to treat your spirits the type of candy they want. Candy box. Uh, this is weird. Right. What the hell? This is not going well right now. Learn. What the hell? How did I miss that? Um, right. There's a lot to take in in the start of this game, I must say. It's interesting, I guess, but it's also quite yeah. confusing at times. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to keep going and see what kind of stuff happens in this one, story-wise. That's what I'm most interesting, interested in, I guess. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this first first video on Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. Uh, so yeah, until next time, have a good time!